I've been growing some of my plants on a cork plank since last year. It's going really well. And today I'm gonna to show you the process of adding a plant to a cork plank. And I'll show you some of the plants I have on a cork plank as well. It is a quite an easy process to add this onto a cork plank. So it's gonna be quick and easy. Welcome to Mixing Plants and Crafts. My name is Rachel and let's get started. If you remember, this plant is an Epipremnum Arium Shangri-La. I unboxed this with you guys and the aerial roots have already rooted, is going into the soil. And I think that's a sign of it being thirsty. It's probably because I underwater my plants. I really need to change that about myself. I don't really like that I underwater my plants so much. Uh, the leaves don't feel too bad. It's in a good, it's in my Ikea cabinet where it's getting a good amount of humidity, which is probably why the aerial roots are so nice and lush. I actually think I'll be able to add this plant on plank in the Ikea cabinet. The plants on plank I have right there. And they're, they're doing really well. I, I think this one I'll leave in my Ikea cabinet. I like to see how the humidity make this grow a little faster. I don't know, let's see. Before I do that, let me share what items you'll need for this so you guys can probably do this as well. Okay, so I am gonna upsize this to a, a bigger pot, not much bigger. And I like using these craft corks from i bought this on amazon and it has a adhesive backing i don't mess with the adhesive backing so what i do with this i attach it to this pot i do i attach it like this i tape it to the bottom of it i actually cut out a little groove here so the cork can really get in there and and then i attach the plant and i have to actually once this is taped i add it to a cover pot that's a little bit more sturdy so that it can hold the cork and everything i think i need to repot first let me position the the cork plank so so that I don't have to mess with it when it's been repotted. So this is what I do. Um, we're gonna just uh, find where it's gonna go. I'm gonna put it like right, I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna mark where it's going on the pot so I can kind of, it's like a, Turn it into like a puzzle piece. I'm gonna cut this out. I'm cutting this lip out. Like this. And now I'm able to attach it to the outside of the pot. It sits a little better on the pot and then I tape it. Okay, that seems to be secure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap another piece of tape around the back just to kind of hold it secure. Okay, so that is done. I'm gonna go ahead and get my soil so I can repot this plant. I'm gonna add these little mesh things to the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna leave it in this pot 
Um, I was going to use that other pot, but I think this one works better. Does it work better? Well, I think I'm actually going to use the other one because this one closes it quite a bit and doesn't have a lot of airflow. So yeah, I'm going to use this one. Okay. Yeah, that works. All right. So let us attach this to the cork plank. And I think I'm able to manipulate it just a little bit. I can take this aerial root and put it in there. That works. I think that works. So I use plant Velcro for this. Here we have the plant. It is looking really good. This is what the back looks like. And here it is. Uh, so let's see how this attaches. Put this into the Ikea cabinet. Okay, so here are the cork planks that I have. I Let me show you individually what uh these look like and i think i added these in fall of last year so here we have this one okay so as you can see the aerial root have attached to the cork plank looks very well jade pothos okay so the next one i'm going to show you this was sold to me as a philodendron rudolph which is a philodendron padatum, padatum, I think, but I'm not sure that's what it is because the stems are dark and those plants are uh, light or the stems are usually green. I'm not sure. I think like once the plant matures, you'll be able to notice like really what it is. I think it's a Florida green, but I don't know. I'm actually going to take off the... I just want to show you don't disturb it <laughs> so the aerial root have attached to the cork since it's attached this stem is quite longer than this one and the leaves have already started to change this one looks a little weird <laughs> it's a little lopsided but um, another leaf is coming out. I'm going to go ahead and put the tape back on. Okay. I love this experimentation that I started doing. And looks like I will probably have to do a repot. There's root, a root already coming out off the bottom. And do I need to water it? No, I don't. That's exciting. <laughs> I don't need to water it. Okay, so the next one is the Monstera adansoniae. Now, I underwater this plant way too much and it's giving me some yellow leaves. I got two leaves that's going to start yellowing. This one's actually already um, quite changed in color, but. Um, all right, so let's look at the aerial root on this. So this is the aerial root on the Anansonii. And if you look right over here, there is another root starting to form. Oh, I love it. And there is another root starting right here. And if you move this, there is another shoot 
forming right there. I'm looking forward to seeing how this grows on this cork plank. This one I'm so happy with um, because it's grown quite a bit for me. I will have to repot it soon or extend the cork, but probably not till the end of summer. Um, I actually think this plant have grown into the cork. I could be wrong, but from what I'm seeing, I feel like it's grown into the cork. So let's, let's take a look at that. I'm actually going to take away the tape so you could see a little better. This one is a philodendron silver stripe. Okay. So there's an aerial root right there. Look at that. I think it's grown into the cork. Oh, here we go. That's better. You tell me if that has grown into the cork. I think it has. There is another aerial root forming right there. So here we have it. That is the final cork plank I have to show you. Let's take a look at the bottom of the pot. See where I'm at with that. There is just one root coming out and oh no, there's, there's at least two. I will have to up pot it soon. Um, this grown quite a bit for me. I'm really enjoying growing plants on cork. I will eventually get a moss pole, but this doesn't really require any kind of watering. I do spritz it every no now and again. I don't, I don't have to water the pole. So this is why I like cork planks. I will be adding some plants to a moss pole soon. And I know that is, I know that does really well um, when it comes down to getting leaves a lot bigger and getting it to root. I truly hope I'm able to keep up with the watering of the moss poles. I'm not good at that, but I'm trying to be better about growing my plants. I want my plants to thrive and not just survive. Plants on cork. The cork was quite inexpensive. I still have a bunch of corks from the stash I got from Amazon. If you're looking for an alternative way of getting plants on a pole, this is a great way. For one thing, the cork is a lot lighter than a wood plank would be. And just tape it to the pot. If you guys have had success with growing plants on plank, or cork plank, let me know. Um, and let me know your thoughts on this. If you try it, oh man, please let me know. Cause I would love to chat about this. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. I hope I inspired you and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this and I'll see you next week.